Hi, Nate here and welcome. Uh, here is another video on how to uh, program up the digital receptionist. Uh, this is on version 3CX version 15. I have created other videos on previous versions, um, relatively all the same, just kind of the look is different, uh, but the course of action is, is all the same. So the first thing you want to do is navigate once you're logged in to digital receptionist. Uh, click that and then you'll come to this screen simply click add as you can see I already have some in here but I'm gonna create a new one you're gonna to want to give it a friendly name test day menu for the purpose of this video this will auto populate you can change it if you want if you already have a, a file um, in this format you can simply upload it um, as long as all this is all these parameters and everything are, are uh, accurate you can simply just hit upload and pick that file up off your computer and upload it uh, if you need to re-record or you need to record a new one, uh, simply hit record. I'll come right back to this. Um, but first I'm going to navigate right down to here. And here's where you'll select if the caller presses zero, what course of action do you want it to take? Maybe you have it ring a ring group, um, service. You'll have all your different ring groups that are already um, that are already configured. That will pop up here on the left. You can select those. Maybe one will go to a certain extension. Uh, Maybe it goes to open. I don't know. Um, and then maybe two is call by name. Okay. And then you just kind of go through and, and select what you want. Now, come on down a little bit further. If no input within this amount of seconds, um, then what do you want it to do? And this is a long time. By default, it's 60. You might want to change this to maybe like eight seconds or something. So after the caller hears you know all the different options there's gonna be a period of time where it's silent that's gonna allow the caller to select something 60 seconds is a long time maybe you want to keep it at 60 but just know that here's where you select uh, that time and then um, if the call is not answered maybe you have it repeat the prompt um, or maybe it times out to the, uh, a group you know their customer service group or your front desk receptionist what have you um, if there's an invalid entry then you select that right here okay and then make sure when you're done with all this you hit okay all right so now it's created test day menu um, I want to come back in here and just do the record I'm gonna record a new prompt so I'll hit record and here I'll type in a friendly name again no spaces so test menu day again no spaces and then you're gonna to want to select what extension you want to record from so for the purpose of video we'll do it from my extension as soon as I select okay my phone will ring I can pick up the handset follow the the, the prompt the lady says um, you know press or to record press this or something like that but let's just listen to it so my phone's ringing I'm gonna hit answer Hi, thank you for calling ABC Company. Uh, if you know your party's three-digit extension, four-digit extension, five-digit extension, whatever the case may be, you can press it now. For customer service, press zero. For sales, press one. For call by directory, press two. Otherwise, stay on the line and so-and-so will answer your call as soon as possible. Thank you. So it said press pound to save, so I hit pound. I'm going to hit save. So there's different options you can choose from. Um, if you want to re-record it, go, you can do that. Uh, so I'm going to hit zero to save. Okay, so now here's, okay, so now it's saved. Now, very important, you need to hit okay for it actually to save. Okay, so now it's actually in there. So I'm going to go right back in here. And now that prompt that I just recorded is in here somewhere. There it is, right there test day menu and then again hit OK alright so very simple again same as previous versions just looks different um, and so from here if I wanted to listen to it I can hit 808 call it that extension So you can hear it there. Okay, so then you can just simply hit that extension, listen to it, make sure it sounds okay, 
you know calling in or whatever so um again real simple if you have any questions get a hold of us via email call us um comment below um again thanks